Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Scheme, and for those of you new to my channel, this is my 335i. Now, today I want to talk about the five things that you could do to help improve your 335i, like I've done with mine. All right, so the things that I'm going to talk about today is my personal opinion on this. Everybody has their own little personal opinion on everything, but this is what I think that made my 335i better and something you guys could possibly do to yours if you like what I did. All right, so the first thing I think that everybody should do to their vehicle that changes absolutely everything about the way it looks is you guys should figure out what something you want to do with the wheels. Now, right now I have the stock wheels still on here, but as you can see, they've been plasti dip black and it quite changes the look of the car. Uh, I think these look quite a lot different with the stock silvery colored wheels that come on it. Now, if you guys saw my earlier video, uh, you would have seen that I did buy some extra wheels for this car. Those are going to be my track wheels and I eventually do, I do like them. So I will probably end up eventually getting a second set. That way I can have my daily driven tires on one set and I can have my track tires on another set and I'll just swap them out as I go. But until I get the money to do that, I'm just going to ride around on stock wheels for now, which I don't think look too bad. All right. So the second thing I want to talk about is the rear of the car. Now, if we take a look at it, I have added myself a little spoiler and I think that greatly improves the look of the car. And I think that that's something that, you know, it makes it stand out a little more. Here, I'll put a picture of what it looked like before without it on there. And I personally don't like it. I think it looks a little bare and, you know, this, this makes it look a little sportier, I guess. Now you don't need quite as big as what I did, uh, which I actually don't think this one is that big. There, I've seen a few of them that, you know, stick off the trunk this big and they, they cover like down to here. All right, so let's talk about installing performance parts on this thing. Now, what I think everybody should do to their car is they should put an intake on there. Now, I don't say necessarily go with this one. Um, I went with this one because it was a little cheap. It did have some good recommendations on the internet, a lot of good reviews. And a couple of the reasons I say that you should put an intake on there is one, you get yourself a nice reusable air filter. Um, you can wash these instead of having to replace the one that's in there every, you know, when they're dirty, which can get a little expensive. This was only a couple hundred bucks and I got myself a reusable filter. Now, there are a few of them that have the box that actually covers this all up and it's contained. Now for performance wise, I think I may actually change that out and go to one of those. They are a little bit more expensive, but it keeps a lot more colder air coming in because the air comes in through the front here, goes up and goes over here. So like the box is still here and you still get some cold air, but it's still a lot of hot engine air coming into the intake here. And I think I may cover it up. But one good bonus of it being open like that is you get all the cool turbo noises. All right, so the next thing that I like to change in the performance sound department is, of course, your exhaust. Now, as you can see, this is not stock compared to what comes on a 335i. Um, the rear diffuser has been changed out by the last guy. I do want to get a different one because I do have a few spots that are like right here, it's broken, and there's a big crack right there. I don't know if I want to try to repair this one or if I want to get a new one, but uh, the style that he put on here uh, gives you enough room. It did used to have quad tips on here and since then uh, they were making a weird whistly noise when I was at wide open throttle and it was really loud and annoying and I didn't like it so I ended up cutting them off and I put on these single ones. I just put on some bigger exhaust tips to fit in the hole. Now I don't know if I'm gonna once I put a different exhaust system on here I don't know if I'm gonna change it and put quad tips back on there. I really like the way it looks but I don't know how it's going to work with whatever exhaust system I get. And I may end up going and buying a new rear diffuser anyway, since this one's broken in a few places, you know, just get myself a new one and I'll just go back to the single exhaust tips, but we'll see what happens. Now, the last owner of this vehicle uh, did the muffler delete on here and I really liked the way that it sounded, but it droned so much driving around that I had to put myself a couple mufflers on here. So for right now, I just put on a couple little glass packs and it improved the sound, well, it improved the drone anyway. I think it sounds a little worse than it did before. It sounds a little bit more... I don't know, I think it lost the, that like hollow boop, 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 boop sound that it had when it had the uh, muffler delete. 
but I think it still sounds pretty good and most of the drone has gone away it still drones a bit but I do plan on getting a different exhaust system I'll probably get a cab back one of these days and once I do that hopefully it gets rid of the drone altogether or at least most of it now the last thing that I think everybody should do is they should get a tune on their car now there's lots of different tunes out there um, pretty much the biggest one that I see from everybody is going through MHD which is what I did let me pull it up so this is the MHD tuner it's right on your phone and all you have to do is get a little dongle that plugs into your little OBD2 port down there and once you actually log in and do everything uh, depending on what you have done to your vehicle you can do different tunes so I have a front mount installed I have an intake and an exhaust so that puts me at stage one um, once I get myself a downpipe then I'll be able to go to stage two which should give me quite a big difference between stock I don't know what the exact number figures are but there was is a very big difference between when it was stock to what I'm at now well I'm not gonna say very big but it was noticeable now if you guys like what you saw smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell that way the next time I post a video YouTube will let you know when you can see this car again so I will put my Instagram handle down below thank you guys I'll see you next video